Hi, first graders. So I hope you enjoyed our book yesterday about how to make an apple pie and see the world. Today, we are going to read a nonfiction book that goes along with our story. So remember, a nonfiction book means that it's going to give us some facts and that it's true. And we're going to be looking for some of those nonfiction, what we call text features. And all text features are are things that are inside a nonfiction book that help us understand. So we're going to be identifying some of those in, in another book that we're going to read later on, okay? So our story today is just titled Apples. So this is one of those nonfiction text features I was just talking about. This is the table of contents. And what it does is remember, it tells us where certain information is in a book. So if we don't have, if we can't read the whole book or we need to go back and find one piece of information, we can use the table of contents to help us find that. So it's telling me that on page one, we're gonna learn about what are apples. Page two, apple orchards. And remember orchards is one of our vocabulary words from yesterday. And an orchard is, do you remember? That's right, a group of trees that um, grow fruit or nuts. And then number three, the parts of the apple. Number four, we're gonna learn about different kinds of apples. Number five says an apple a day. Number six are interesting facts. And number seven, we're gonna look at the glossary. And remember that glossary is helps us out because if we don't know a word, we can flip back to it and we can decide what, it's, what that word actually means. All right, so what are apples? Apples are some of the world's most popular fruit. They are healthy, delicious, and all over the globe. There are over 7,500 different kinds of apples. Some of them are red, others are yellow or green, and some with all three of those colors. One thing that they have in common is that they are all grown on trees. So you harvest apples from trees in what we call apple orchards. Apple orchards. Apple trees take five to seven years to mature enough to be able to produce apples. So if you go and you plant an apple seedling, it's going to take about five to seven years before you can actually get those fruits. You have to be very, very patient. Each spring, apple trees blossom. A blossom is a flower. Inside the flower, there are seeds that can eventually turn into apples. In order for this to happen, bees need to pollinate the flower. After pollination, the blossoms fall off the tree and the apples begin to grow. It takes about five months for apples to be ready to be picked off a tree. So this is another nonfiction text feature that we see in books that are going to help us learn in nonfiction books, and it's called a diagram. And a diagram is just a picture, and it's showing us some labeling. Labeling means that you're telling us the different parts, naming different parts. So for the parts of the apple, we're gonna look at some of the labels real quick. We have the stem, the leaf, the skin, the flesh, the seeds, and then that core in the middle. Have you ever seen an apple cut straight down the middle? It is a great way to look at all the parts of an apple. If you leave an apple sitting after it's been cut, it will begin to turn brown. This is because the flesh is reacting to oxygen in the air. Also, did you know that 80% of an apple is water? So there's all this water inside the apple. That's what makes it very juicy when we, when we bite into it. Different kinds of apples. Apples vary in size, color, and taste. They also have different purposes. Fiji, Fuji, Granny Smith, Red Delicious and Yellow Delicious are the most popular for baking. So those are the ones that you normally would use if you wanted to bake apple pie. Gala, apples are crisp and sweet, which makes them great for apple cider. Jonathan, Macintosh, and Wine Sap apples are known for being used to make applesauce because their flesh is softer. So that outside is softer. And if we didn't know what flesh is, remember we could go back to the glossary, but we just saw on the last page that the Flesh part is the part that we eat, the white part on the inside. An apple a day. There is a popular saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Do you think there's any truth to that statement? Apples are very nutritious, so they do help keep us healthy with ingredients like vitamin C, potassium, and fiber. 
Did you know that many of the vitamins in your apple are in your skin? So if someone wants to peel an apple for you, tell them, no, thank you. So you really want to eat that outside skin part because that has all the nutrients and good vitamins for you in it. So here's some interesting facts about apples. China produces more apples than any other country. Apple trees can live up to 100 years. Apples are members of the rose family, so they're actually related to rose plants. The best way to pick an apple is to pull it, is not to pull it, but to twist it gently. It takes 36 apples just to make one gallon of apple cider. So think about that. You'd have to get 36 apples, pick them just to make one gallon. So here's our glossary. So remember the flesh is that soft part of the apple under the skin. That's the part that we usually like to, to, um, to eat. Oxygen is a colorless gas that can be found in the air. And we know about oxygen because that's right. It's what we breathe. Produce means to make or cause something to happen. And purpose is the reason for doing something. All right, you guys did an awesome job listening to our, our Apple nonfiction book. What you're going to do now is you're going to connect to Seesaw, and I have this little thing, and you're going to hit the mic and tell me one of the facts that you learned about Apple, something interesting you learned today. All right, thanks, guys, for listening.